L E Bible. Pointing to letters on a message board is one of the only ways Huntington's patient, Christy Rita, is able to communicate with her mom. Christy was living on her own before she came here. Um, she was, had a health care aide with her. Um, but Christy and I both decided that it was just yeah. too much. She's a patient at JFK's Hartwick at Cedarbrook facility in Plainfield. It's the only designated care facility in the state specializing in Huntington's disease. Every day I get a call for another person that would like to come into to the Hartwicks. Uh, it, there's not that many beds. We only have 20 allocated HD beds. Well, some people are very high functioning uh, before it starts and it can come on very insidiously, very slowly. But once it does, Dr. Philip Hanna explains it's just a matter of years before the progressive breakdown of nerve cells in the brain completely claims a patient's life. So people get involuntary movements called chorea, which can affect balance and coordination and functioning. Um, it also can affect your memory and cognitive functioning. It's frustrating for them. Imagine being them. I mean, eight years ago, Christy was driving. Eight years ago, Christy was going out with friends. And now, all of a sudden, the world that you knew is gone. It usually strikes patients during their 30s or 40s, but the onset may come as early as childhood. Children have a 50% chance of inheriting the disease from an affected parent. Christy's father died of it. Her brother has it too. Parent Colleen Walsh knows the devastation. Both of my sons were, were um, diagnosed in their 20s, uh, Miles lived to be 40 and my son Jason turned 40 in March and he's at the end stage. Now she advocates for her son Jason and the other 3,000 Huntington's patients living in the state. I retired from work and kept my sons with me as long as I possibly could. Um, so the lack of services is huge. The Hartwick Center is a one-stop shop. Speech therapists, occupational and recreational therapists care for residents around the clock. As the disease progresses, the speech um, intelligibility declines and so we, it takes a lot more time um, for us to understand what the residents are saying and what their needs are. Because there are so few services available, often patients with HD will be mixed into nursing homes or other facilities where they get care, but it might not be the intensive care that they need. I waited three months for the bed for Miles. Unfortunately, there was no bed for Jason, so he had to be in Greystone for six months which was, the, I, I can't say enough about the staff of Greystone, but you have violent people and he couldn't defend himself. The families here plan to attend a meeting with the FDA and Congress in September, urging research and more resources. Because you can't communicate, people think that you don't understand, but the part of your brain that understands and processes information is still intact. So you're basically locked into this terrible body so you know what's going on. And they want their voices to be heard. In Plainfield, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.